You'll be cast into a lake of fire with Satan himself, and there will I've be... I've been waiting for you. Ha! Ah. Gnashing of teeth. He, who even looks Why for the woman Why does Satan want to gnash your teeth? Eyes. He's already committed adultery, so if your eye offends you, if it causes you to lust, pluck it out, cast it away. Same thing with your nose. How many of you... Get away from there. Somebody's going to see you. Your father is in rare form today. Speaking of rare form, where'd you learn how to kiss like that? Just doing what comes natural. Mm, I like nature. <laughs> you know, the only way to get to eternal glory is through sacrifice. Somehow, somewhere, someday, the good Lord is going to ask you maybe to make a tremendous sacrifice. And on that day, what will you say? How will you answer him? Will you answer him yes? Yes? Will you answer him yes? Yes. I think we need to practice sacrificing now. Starting today. When the collection plate goes by, I want you to sacrifice as much as you possibly can to the Lord. Remember, money is the root of all evil, so use this opportunity to rid yourself of as much evil as possible. Remember, it is written, ask how much to give, and you shall receive an answer. And folks, Lord loves a hilarious giver. So please, let me hear some laughter. A little laughter. Don't hurt that much. Let me hear some laughter. Come on. Come on. Come on. Lord loves a hilarious giver. I'd like to thank you. And the Lord appreciates your generosity. You know, it is this spirit of giving which enabled us to acquire this magnificent stained glass window imported directly from Italy. I'm sure we will treasure it for many, many years to come. Amen to that. <clears throat> Kelly, yeah. do you know what today is? I'm guessing it's Sunday. Besides that, it's the 10 year anniversary of the day we first met. Yeah. I was seven and you were eight, remember? I was a bat girl in your little league team. I went over to pick up a bat and you were practicing your swing. And I knocked out your front four teeth. Oh, so romantic. Yeah, well, if you think that's romantic. Check this out. Oh, it Kelly! Open. Man, it's beautiful. <laughs> I'm never going to take it off. I love you, Kelly Hankin. And I love you, Lisa Weld. Mm. You want me to put it on? Of course. Tomorrow starts our first day of senior year. I know. I mean, this could be the best year of our lives. What's your favorite thing about school? My favorite thing about school? Well, besides you? <laughs> Baseball season. I mean, there's just something about it. When I'm standing on the mound and the game's on the line, I have a chance to be a hero. Everyone's chanting, Kelly. Kelly, Kelly. <laughs> I know everyone's behind me, and they're gonna trust I make the right decision. It's just one time I'd like to just reach out and grab that feeling and hold on to it forever. I wish I could feel that way. I'd be scared to death. You're scared of everything. Well, don't you ever get afraid? Sometimes. Like, does it make sense to be afraid of being afraid? What do you mean? When I'm trusted to make the big decision, like the really big decision, could I do it? 
when I cave. How about you? What's your favorite thing? Hmm. I like the dances. It's the only time I can hold you in public. How much longer do we have to keep this a secret? Eight months, one week, and three days. My 18th birthday. The day my father finally allows me to start dating. It feels like forever. I mean, you may not even love me anymore. I could go crazy, gain 100 pounds, bald. I still love you. Why don't we tell your father right now? That's a terrible idea. Then I wouldn't be allowed to date until I was crazy, bald, and gained 100 pounds. <laughs> well, I'd still love you. All right, coward. Eight months, one week, three days. It's a date. On one condition. All right. On my first date, I want to wear the biggest, most beautiful pink orchid in town. I'd do anything for you. Anything at all. Well, I've got a heavy hankering for you, Kelly Hankin. <laughs> Good to see you. You too. Hey, Bob. Pleasure, sir. Oh, good to see you. And just where have you been, young lady? I needed to use the bathroom. Lisa, you need to understand the importance of the example you set for our young people. Yes, Daddy. You, hi, hi. You provide the moral guidance with your virtue for our entire community. Yes, Daddy. I expect you sitting on the front row of every service. It will be, Daddy. Oh, the Hankins family. Good how morning, Reverend Wells. Gloria. Wonderful sermon today, Reverend. And how are you, Jimmy? Just fine, sir. About your sermon today. Yes. If what is the word of all evil, how do I fertilize it? Quite the mind on this young man. You're quite a, an original thinker. Wonderful. Mm. Kelly, <laughs> how's the arm on Butterhill star pitcher? It's great, sir. Thank you. That's good. We are all counting on you. Oh, this is this is very stylish. Oh, uh, it's uh, it's the new style. You should try it, sir. I think I might. Well, good to see you. Good to see you. Pleasure, sir. Thank you. Get off me! Ah. Pretend like you're actually a normal human being for once. Ah, you don't want that? Oh, no. Come here, babe. First day of senior year. Smile? Yes. But this is for my mother. I know. It's going on the Christmas card. Okay. Cheers! Okay, great. Preserved for all eternity. Yeah. Oh, yes! I feel good all under. Are you finally wearing the right size underwear? Underwear, 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 underwear. Oops. Oh, well, uh, more room to uh, indulge that bulge, you know? Yeah, you wish. You know what I'm saying? Walk in swanging. All right, Ace. Let's burn rubber. These uh, ladies are awaiting our glorious presence. Woo! driving the green bug. That's Frankie Wilson. Sure is an improvement over that old van. 
I don't know, I mean, you can really stretch your legs out in that van. Ooh, what is this? Hello, ladies. Oh, well that sucks. It's Milton. Ew. Ew. Hey, there's Kelly Hankins. Who's that with him? That's Ditto Moore. You mean Ditto Moore? Hi, Kelly. Hi, Candy. How was your summer? Awful. I just stared at my phone and prayed for a call from you, but my prayers went unanswered. Well, I, I didn't have your number. Raisin hussy. Like a spider waiting to devour a fly. Let me have that number. I'll take that. <laughs> like you'd know what to do with it. Oh, I was this close to scoring with those babes until the Honkins ruined it. Sorry to ruin your scene, Milton. Yeah, but you always ruin my scene. You stole Mary Beth Barber from me. Kissed her right in front of the flagpole. Milton, that was in kindergarten. I mean... <laughs> She kissed me. I pushed her down. Get over it. Uh -huh. Well, the great and powerful Kelly Hankins has spoken. Yet you need to take it down a notch. I will pull back the curtain on you. You just wait and see. <laughs> That's one delusional hombre. Hoodlum, punk, gangster. Oh, there we go. Good morning, students. Good morning, Principal Miller. As many of you know, I am Mr. Miller, the principal here at Butterhill High. And our dedicated and respected staff would like to welcome you back to yet another year here at your favorite school. And we have two new faculty members this year as a result of the brilliant investigative work of our very own Butterhill Bulletin reporter, Milton, our former practitioner, Nurse Nancy, will not be with us, as her ankle monitor will not allow her within 200 feet of any school. In her place, I am pleased to introduce Nurse Zelda. Yavas le bleu. Isn't she just foreign? Uh, next, a man whom words simply cannot describe, uh, Coach Franklin Dombrowski. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, hey. Very inspirational. Uh, we look forward to developing you all into responsible, mature, young adults. <laughs> settle down, people. Settle. Settle. And in order to start things off on the right foot, the school is sponsoring a kickoff dance this Friday. <clears throat> and left, two, three, four, right, two, three, four, 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 left. 
two, three, four, right, two, three, four, left, two, three, four, right, two, three, four. And that's our class for the day. I'll see you guys next week, all right? Awesome class, Kelly. Thank you. See you at the dance tomorrow. I'll see you. Can't wait. Has anyone ever told you what a sensual instructor you are? So strong, so tight, so many muscles. You make my heart race even when we're not exercising. That's good, I guess. So I hear your band will be playing at the dance tomorrow? Yeah, we've been practicing all summer. It's going to be great. Will you have any time for dancing? Uh, yeah, yeah, in between songs. It'll, it'll be fun. Well, I'll be sure to save a dance for you and much, much more. Spider bait. Yeah, well, she's gonna starve to death. Hey, no comprendo, Ace. What are you waiting on? Board that ship before she sets sail. You know, can you keep a secret? <laughs> what? The king of conceal? They would poke my eyes out with toothpicks before I would give you what, man? Spill it! Lisa and I are, uh, we're more than friends. More? How much more? We're in love. Oh, dude, you cannot touch her. She is the preacher's daughter. I know. He's gonna get God to cast down a lightning bolt on you. I know. Look, we've been secretly dating, all right? She's on the strictly restricted list. Do not open till 18. Estimated time of arrival? Eight months, six days. Oh, it could explain the lack of interest from the candy company. But ouch. <sighs> I'd have trouble keeping that secret. You have trouble keeping your underwear a secret. Oh. All right. We're going to play hit and run. When candy comes on to you, I'll pinch hit while you run away. You're all heart ditto. Ah, <laughs> absolutely, bud. What are friends for? Are you sure? My exotic blend of papaya, mango, and the guava are temptingly delightful, with a splash of passion fruit that'll curl your toes. What? Why, Principal Miller? Are you um, trying to seduce me? God no! Perish the thought. I thought you might be thirsty. Okay, Daddy. Don't 
my world If only she were my girl She's every thought, she's every word If I could sleep, I'd dream of her I'm hip, she's too delicious Burning for her bright red kisses Got to tell her I know I should Cause I'm hit and I'm hit for good I'm hit And it's game over <laughs> uh, You guys are great Don't take a break, we'll be right back Okay, ladies, get in line. The Ditto Meister is now accepting reservations for romance. How soon they forget a hero. These small town girls don't know what they're missing. <laughs> Striking out over there, aren't you? Oh, uh, one, two, and three. Here, drown your sorrows. Yeah, thank you. Mm. Oh, disgust the moon, though. There we go, just what the doctor ordered. Some for me. Yeah. Some for you. Some for the punch bowl, too. You know what? Let's uh, lower your standards just a little bit. There we go. Great. May I have this dance? Oh, my Prince Charming. Where have you been all my life? Come with me. Nurse Zelda. Captain. This is very tasty punch. Indeed. I think I will have one or two or 16 more of these. I'm happy it pleases you. I can give you the secret recipe. Oh, well, give it to me, baby. I got to have it. Like bear on water skis. Nurse Zelda, do we have an ill student out there on the floor? Oh, but I know. Let's not hog the hunk. Hankins is moving on your territory. Yeah, dude. He's putting a squeeze on your grapefruits, man. Yeah. Go get him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hi, hi, Bronco. Uh, hi, how's algebra going? Ditto. <clears throat> Four, five, six, seven, two. Oh, darn. I keep losing count. How about we take your temperature? Yes? Oh. 
the old-fashioned way. I'm, I'm feeling much better now. You are no fun at all. I'm going to take two aspirins, and you call me in the morning. I've got some booty twerking to do. Are you all right? I'm fine. Surprised he didn't break his hand in my abs of steel. What? That was funny. I'm just not much in the mood for laughing. What's wrong, Lisa? I've got a problem. A growing problem. I don't get it. Do you prefer cloth or disposable diapers? <laughs> Are you saying that... I love you, Lisa. I love you and I'll love our baby. And I love you. But I'm scared. I'm scared of what the town might think and what all the other kids are gonna say. And, and most of all, I'm scared of what my dad's gonna do. I'm scared for us. I, I just gotta disappear. Lisa, you're not leaving me. Not now, not ever. I mean, sure, we made a mistake, but everybody makes mistakes. I promise, I will come up with something. Really? I've always wanted to be your knight in shining armor. Just give me a chance. Cannot unsee that. Can't believe your dad gave you a key to this place. <laughs> he didn't give me a key. I wouldn't give me a key. I forged a copy. So your dad doesn't know we raid this place every night? Oh, sure he knows. He keeps a tab. I'm in debt for life. He doesn't kick your butt? How could you kick a butt with a face like this? So, how are you feeling after that uh, first round knockout? Hit and run, huh? I get hit, you run? Your little error almost cost me the game. That was not my fault. She had me under some sort of spell. I promise it won't happen again. It's nothing compared to the blow Lisa laid on me. Oh, <laughs> something, uh... You see? <laughs> I mean, you'll probably find out. I mean, the whole school will probably find out. Lisa and I are, uh, Lisa and I are gonna have a baby. <coughs> a baby what? What do you mean, a baby what? A baby baby. You know, a pooping, wedding, wham, 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 baby. I hate to break it to you. This is gonna put a definite strain on your dating secret. I've gotta think of something fast. I mean, if I don't, Lisa's father's gonna ship her off to some convent in Mongolia. And I mean, I doubt I'll be doing any pitching from a body cast. How about if we try to disguise Lisa? That won't work. Girls always know they have that baby sonar thing. I, mean, I gotta come up with something no one's ever gonna figure out. Rapunzel! Rapunzel! Down your long hair. Hey, Uncle Theus. When'd you get the cool wheels? This morning. <laughs> and she a beaut. Yeah. My other car would make me look bad. <laughs> so, uh, where's uh, my kid brother? I need to experiment on him again. He took Jimmy and Mom fishing. They should be gone all day. What? Get out, Zeus! I distinctly told him I'd be by Sunday afternoon. Today's Saturday. Saturday? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. What was yesterday? Friday. Tomorrow? Sunday. 
what, what, what will it be a week from today? Saturday. Ah, oh, my God, it is Saturday. This is disastrous. Everything's ready. Ready for what? Well, the greatest discovery known to mankind. Greater than the wheel, greater than flight, greater than peanut butter. No, no, no listen, I've discovered how to transfer unlimited gigaflops of Yoey bytes directly into the cerebral cortex, resulting in... Well, it's, it's really cool. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe what? Well, that's why I need my guinea... I, I, need, I need your father. I need... I need, uh, somebody to, um, volunteer to do my experiment on. Is it painful? Oh, no, 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 no pain whatsoever. Absolutely pain-free. Uh, at least none of the <clears throat> mouses complained about. Then I'll volunteer. You will? Yeah. Oh, you'd be doing a huge service to mankind. Not, not to mention uh, boosting your grade point average. <laughs> I can never repay you. Well, can I bring Ditto? Absolutely, yes. Let him witness history in the making. All right, cool. I, I think I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, no, no. We're ready to begin. Oh, there. Okay, when I flip this switch, you're going to become a human computer chip. <laughs> Before... Um, you put this in your mouth, it's gonna prevent you from biting your tongue. Right? Uh-huh. Mm. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. Ready? Count it. Five, four, three, two, one. Last off. <laughs> What's your name? Kelly Hankins. <laughs> it worked. What's the square root of 976? I don't know. I really don't feel any different. No, no knowledge. At least I didn't lose any. Hey, what's this? Ah! Don't touch that. That is a super hybrid of a Venus flytrap. Only it doesn't stop at eating just insects. Uh, uh. Mm. Hey, little fella. Hey, Uncle Theus, who's this? Don't. That, uh, that. That is Adam. <laughs> My most extraordinary experiment. He looks pretty normal to me. Oh, he is. Except for one very important detail. He is going to have a baby. <laughs> Adam's going to have a baby. Yeah. That's impossible. Well, uh, it may not be as crazy as you uh, may think. There have been dozens of documented cases of women carrying babies in their abdominal cavities. Right? So, why not a male? How did he even get pregnant in the first place? Well, <clears throat> by tweet. Tweet? I don't understand. Yeah, you, you, you never will understand. I barely understand myself. Uh, um, tweet. Tweet, tweet stands for Theus Workable Easy Embryo Transfer. No muss, no fuss, no pain whatsoever. Yeah, I've heard that before. Are, are you sure it's safe? <clears throat> are you doubting the work of a genius with double your IQ, triple his? I, I give you proof positive. Uncle Theus, can that be done to a human being? Well, th 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 theoretically, yes, but... Uh, you know, there are, there are dangers involved. Uh, what kind of dangers? Well, the, the danger that the embryo will not attach, the danger of removing the mature fetus, uh, most importantly, the danger to, to, the, uh, to the carrier. Uh, any, any misstep along the way could uh, prove fatal. Kelly. I do. Well, what if you... It won't. Well, can you? I can. Is this some sort of new teenage rap? You know, Uncle Theus, you said uh, you'd never be able to repay me for that experiment. That's right. I know how you can repay me. What in the heck? Yep. I'm the principal. 
I'm the principal here. Oh, I wanted a beaver. Milton, I assume you are taking up valuable space in my office for a reason. What have you got for me? Sucking face in the janitor's room, smoking in the lavatory, beer cans in the bushes. Having them dusted for prints now. And spiked punch? That explains a lot. Milton, I want to commend you. Your keen sense of investigative snitchery has reached new lows. You may now stand at ease. Thank you, sir. And may I say, it's an honor to serve on board the same ship with you as her commander. Yes, you may. Uh, again, it's an honor to serve on board the same ship with you as her commander. Thank you. Milton, you are a credit to your school and a valuable asset to me. I want you to step up your efforts to uncover these offensive everyday teenage activities. Keep your eyes open and your ears perked for any rumor of deviant behavior. must be the horror section. <laughs> if you're looking for something to check out, try this. Hmm. I'll take a dozen copies. <laughs> not here, not right now. I'm kind of crazy. Yeah, I might just be. Wait till you hear this plan. What? Shh, okay? It's perfect, all right? I'll have no problem hiding 10 pounds. No one will suspect a thing. And then when school lets out for the summer, I'll have it. Do you have any idea how difficult it is to carry a baby? Hey, I'm a guy. I can handle it, all right? How hard could it be? You really have no clue, do you? So what do you think? I think it's the strangest thing I've ever heard. Yeah. Strange or not, it's your best plan. This doesn't look like a doctor's office. Where are all of his diplomas? Dr. Theus and his assistant are highly trained, respected, dedicated professionals. Dr. Theus, I'd like you to meet Lisa. Oh, <laughs> um, <clears throat> well, it's a pleasure to meet the mate of the man who will mother the child that you, uh, conceived. Mm. And his assistant, Dr. Moore. <clears throat> okay. Mm. Dr. Morg, Lisa. Charmed, I'm sure. So, if we are ready, uh, we can we can begin the procedure. Uh, just one question. You have performed this procedure before, right? Uh, yeah, of course. Yes. In, in fact, <laughs> in fact, um, Adam will be watching the entire procedure. Adam. Yeah, um, Adam. Yes, Adam. My first uh, transplant experiment. A monkey experiment. <laughs> No, no, I... No, out, babe. All right, this will be a piece of cake. Ditto! Oh! Oh, uh, do I, um, still get to apply the anesthesia?
class, what you have before you are frogs that you will be dissecting. All the materials that you need should be on your desk. The whole thing went as slick as snot. I was the main man, of course, but your uncle did do his part. Yeah, I don't, I don't really feel any different. Well, take it from me, you are in the family way. Yeah. This is a breeze. I mean, to think. Women have complained about this for centuries now. <laughs> all right, class. We're ready to begin dissecting the anatomy of a frog. It's all a big gimmick. You think? Absolutely. Girls have been lying to guys since Eve told Adam <clears throat> that there was no worm in that apple. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. The first point of order is to slice open the abdominal cavity. You are going to blow the lid off of this whole pregnancy scam. Liberate mankind. Hurl the truth. <coughs> You're just wasting your money with that test. After all, I am an experienced professional. I hate to burst your bubble, Ditto, but you're only a high school student who's flunking biology. I mean, a lot of people get sick at the sight of blood. Frog blood? Yeah, frog blood. Just give me a few more minutes and I'll let you know for sure. I am so sure I already got you a baby present. What is it? A baby. What? You know, one of those pooping, wedding, wah, wah, wah baby dolls. You'll need to practice, bro. And from the looks of things, it might be in for a rough ride. What do you mean? I mean, morning sickness, muscle cramps, swollen feet, back aches, mood swings, breakouts of acne, and tender nipples. It says here that the breasts might increase in size. You don't suppose I'm gonna, like, grow, you know? I don't know. Promise me one thing. No. If you do. Don't even go there. You'll let me touch them. Seriously, Ditto? Is that too much to ask from your best friend? If I had some, I'd let you slap them around. You're hopeless. Okay, well, what about, uh, breathing? It says here you gotta know how to breathe. Well, I've been doing it all my life, so. Not like this, you haven't. Come over here and lay on your back. One pillow under your head, All right. and one under your knees. All right. Stage one is deep chest breathing. So, in and out. In and out. Magnificent, bro. You got it. Okay. Nothing to it. Yeah. Stage two is accelerated shallow breathing. Okay. It's in through the nose, out through the mouth. Yeah, okay, just like that, just like that. You ready? Stage three, pant like a dog. No, 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 faster, like just like that. Oh, my candy. Oh, oh, candy. Oh, candy, I want to kiss you. Oh. Okay, you ready? Stage four. Stage four? Delivery breathing. Ow. Push! Come on! You keep blowing out! Push! Oh, you're dialing! Oh. What am I pushing? I don't know! Okay, here we go! Here we go! Yeah. Oh! Oh, you're dialing! Ten centimeters! Okay, you're getting dizzy! Oh, you're so strong! You're so strong! Ew! He's drowning! Come on! Okay! 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 We did it! Not bad. All right, it's time. Clear means negative. Blue means all my problems are solved. I'm a mother! because there's a baby in there. She ate a baby? No, she's gonna give birth to a baby. What are those weird lines on her stomach? Those are stretch marks. When the baby grows, she gets stretched out. Why are you looking at this stupid stuff anyway? Why don't you go stick your head in a lawnmower? Cost you a dollar? That's a bargain, but I don't have it. I'll put it on your tab. You got a minute? Uh. Sure, come on in. What are you studying? 
Just some biology. Biology, huh? I was never very good in biology. Never very good in school in general. Maybe that's why I'm so proud of you, son. Certainly can't take credit for it, but you are one special kid. An A student, star pitcher. You never get in any trouble, and you've never caused me to lose a night's sleep. I'm just thankful you're my boy. Well, I'll try my best. I know you do, son, but all work and no play. What do you mean? What I mean is, well, in my senior year, it was the most memorable year of my life. You could expect the unexpected from me. Son, just don't get bogged down with the pressures of school. Live a little. Be unique. Do something a little crazy. <laughs> in my year, I swallowed 13 goldfish. School record. You might not want to do something that extreme. Of course, you couldn't cause half the stir that your old man did. By the way, I talked to your Uncle Theus. You did? Yeah. He said you two were doing some secret science project. He did? Yeah. That's my boy, Mr. Conservative. If it isn't lover boy. Please, Bronco, I, I gotta go real bad. Oh, you'll go all right. To the hospital, if I ever catch you putting your dirty hands on my girl again. Please, just, just step aside. What was that? Step outside? You wanna step outside with me, do you, loser boy? No, not the nipples, it hurts. Come on, hit me with your best shot. Pour it on me. Why, you little... Do I detect the odiferous presence of smoking tobacco? Uh, uh, no, sir. I, uh, I don't smell a thing. Uh, but me and the boys here were just talking about what a smoggy day it was. Uh, right, right, boys? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, that's, that's right. 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 Yes, so smoggy, in fact, that there is a substantial haze curiously culminating right here in the boys' bathroom. Yes, sir. Very curious indeed, sir. Uh, well, uh, we better get going. Uh, I don't want to miss any of my algebra lessons, you know. Uh, nice seeing you again, Principal Miller. Mm, the pleasure's all mine, boys. Kelly Hankins. Just the person I wanted to see.
I am. Yes, yes, my boy. It has come to my attention lately that your schoolwork has suffered a serious regression. Well, uh, my grades have dipped a little. Dipped? <laughs> boy, they've crashed harder than a bull rider's bottom. I'm sorry, sir. Kelly, in a class full of chronic underachievers, you have always been the one bright spot. The only honest student among a multitude of mental pygmies. Confide in me. Tell me, what's wrong? Nothing, sir. A social problem, perhaps? You know, quite often, such a dramatic reversal is the result of a lack of self-esteem. The perception that there's something abnormal. That you don't quite fit in. You're not suicidal, are you? No, sir. Well, see to it that you're not. I would hate to have my school tarnished by your thoughtless act. Still, I have this intuition that there's something peculiar you're hiding from me. I can't quite put my finger on it, but rest assured, sooner or later you will not be able to hold it inside you any longer and it will burst out of you. I'm sure it will, sir. May I go back to class now? You're dismissed. <laughs> 180. That's 35, 35 pounds in six months? I mean, I was only supposed to gain 10 pounds the whole nine months. Stop gorging, you oinker. Cut down on the chow or else. Ugh. What the? Oh, he kicked. Hey, can you hear me in there? Listen, that's quite a kick you got there. I mean, you can make all state. What if you're a girl? You can still make all state. People may laugh and point at you. Trust me, I know. You might feel scared or deserted, but I'll always be there for you. I wouldn't do this for just anyone. You're special. And if you want to sock me one day because of all this, I understand. I just want to meet you. I promise I'll do anything to make that happen. By the way, forget that crack about cutting down on the chow. You're going to need all your strength to play football. Yeah. Oh, this is disgusting. Who would I do that? Who would do that? I have no idea. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this. Have you ever seen a more pitiful sight? He's gone from hot to so not. From cool to fool. From super athletic to Mr. Pathetic. Well, Lisa. Oh, from um, hunk to junk. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ugh, freakazoid warning at 12 o'clock. Let's get out of here before he contaminates us. Pure awesomeness. This one's going viral. Hey, wait. Hey, stranger. Haven't seen much of you lately. Speaking of stranger, that's what you're becoming more and more of every day. What do you mean? I mean, everyone is talking about you. What happened to only gaining 10 pounds? You've become the joke of the entire school. I don't care what everyone else thinks. What do you think? I don't know, Kelly. Part of me thinks you're the special guy for doing this, but part of me says stay clear. Danger zone. Stay clear. Danger, really? You're right about one thing, Lisa. I am a special guy. I risked it all for you, and I'll do the same for our baby, with or without you. 
The decision's yours. That's it. Get those legs up. Keep it going. All right, all right. We're gonna do some toe touches. All right. One, two, three. All right, that's it. That's a great class. I'll, I'll see you next month. You know, I don't know. I just don't have the motivation to work out anymore. Yeah, you and about a hundred other people. Face it, Ace. You've lost it. That spring in your step, the fantastic frame, the pulsating pelvis, gone. It's not all I've lost. Lisa and I broke up. Oh, no. Another abandoned teenage mother. Just another sad statistic in this depraved society. Ugh. What are you gonna do? I don't know, Ditto. I'm just so confused. I don't know who I am or even what I am. I know exactly how you feel. When I started this thing, it, it all felt so right. I mean, nothing else in the world mattered. Then when Lisa broke up with me, it just, I don't know if I can continue on. Hey, cheer up, guy. <sighs> it's always darkest before the dawn. At least it can't get much worse, huh? I got fired. I got fired. Important information for you. Before you play baseball, there's one thing you must do before you're gonna be eligible to play. And that's a physical. We have a great nurse. She's a new nurse. Her name is Zelda. Really knows the medicine. But once you pass the physical, yay! You're ready to be a blood out! You know? It's just part of the game. It's just part of the game, part of the process. So I'd like for you all to take a deep breath, everybody. Okay, now get up on your feet and exit this way to the medical building. Go ahead. Atta boy. Way to go, guys. Way to go. Please answer following questions to best of your knowledge. Age? 18. Height? Five foot eight. Weight? A little over 160. Must we weigh you on scale make it? 187.4 pounds. Exactly. Have you been experiencing any of following? Unusual X? Pens, sudden weight gain, coordination difficulties, nausea, incontinence, breathing irregularities, emotional distress. No! All right. Remove shirt. Uh, I'm a little shy. Hot damn! That is biggest one of those I've ever seen. Do you want me to put my shirt back on? No, no, no. No. I am professional after all. Where should we put this? Okay. That is strange. I think I hear two heartbeats. That's because um, my heart beats twice as fast when I'm around you. Well, you are a sweet talker, you. Yes? You know, I could be charmed into becoming cougar for you, little lion cub. You're 
out of my league. Well, you let me know when you graduate to the majors. Gas. Do you want my professional medical opinion? I guess. My professional opinion is you're pregnant. Pregnant. You know. Boom. <laughs> I quit being a stand-up comedian to become nurse. Yeah? Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Hey, Candy. Thanks for coming to support the team. Came to support my knight in shining armor. Thanks. I, I appreciate it. You seem down. I just, I haven't really been myself lately. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. Something to help you warm up before the game. What's that? A knight always carries a piece of his damsel's clothing into battle. Would you do that for me? I guess so. How's that for inspiration? Um, I, I gotta go. Okay. Batter up. Play ball! Let's go! Batter up! Woo! Your glory days are now a hate. Your peak is far behind you. You're trying to recapture that old thrill. When you trip and fall, you drop the ball. Clowns crown the plate. Give him the brush back pitch. Better suck it up. This one's coming down the inside. Thank you, baby. Hey! I hey! He threw at him! Hey! Hey! You ordered a beanball! Yeah, I should have ordered a pizza. When you talk to my team, talk with respect. Well, that's not a Butterhill Hound. That's a hippo. That's a hippo? You really think that's a hippo? You don't know what's going to happen. Hey, hey, take hey, it hey, off, though. Take it off. 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 Take it off.
That was the worst exhibition of sissy ball I have ever witnessed. Kowal, what kind of a tag is that? Arnelli, my mother can feel better than you. And Hankins, H Hankins, there are no words to describe your performance. I came to school and they told me to expect something big, but I didn't expect it to be your stomach. Good Lord, man, you throw like a girl. Have you looked in the mirror lately? You're starting to grow female accessories. You, up, now. Are you wearing these now? Where'd you get it? No, sir, I'm not. Well, I'm a good coach. I'm gonna give them back to you. Have a sure. seat. Thank you. Well, you're gonna pay. Every one of you is gonna pay. There is no Mr. Nice Guy. This honeymoon is over. I want a divorce. Where is your bloodhound pride? I want everybody to hit the showers and wash that miserable performance off your bodies. I guess I want you to get down here and give me 20 push-ups. That'll keep you busy for two hours. Right here, go. Right here, right here. There you go, buddy. Okay, go. Right now, up, 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 go. Shower time, go. Go, run. Oh, I love baseball. How the mighty have fallen. Go away, Milton. Or what? You gonna jump up and run me down? I think not. <laughs> I've watched you run and jump today, and oh, it's pitiful. Simply pitiful. Well, what's going on with you anyway? Come on, you can tell me. We've been buds since kindergarten. Buds? I think not. All right. Be that way. But, uh, the nose knows something is going on. And I will be your worst nightmare. One ninety six? I don't believe this. Stretch marks. Stretch marks! Jimmy, quiet! You're going to have a baby! No, Jimmy, no! Get off my face! You're killing me! I can't breathe! Then keep quiet. Okay, okay! I saw it in your book. You're going to have a baby. It's not what you think. I, uh, I ate a bowling ball. What? I mean, no, no, it was, a, it was a science project, and they pumped my stomach full of air, you know, like, like a balloon. See? It's just that mom and dad can't know, all right? It's secret. You understand? All I understand is cash. And boy, this can take plenty of it. I'm broke. What do you want from me? I mean, give me a break. I'll do anything. Anything you want. I want collateral. Take my goldfish. I want your goldfish. Then what? Your car. What? You heard me. I want your car. It's the only thing you own that's worth a nickel to me. I want to hold on to it until you pay off your debt. But that's blackmail. I mean, you can't make me pay ransom on my own car. I'll wring your neck, you Mom, little- Mom! Dad! Shh, shh, shh. I can and I will. <sighs> Keys, please. How am I supposed to get around? Maintain my image. I mean, come on. Where's your brotherly love? Yeah, a guy's lost without wheels. Don't worry, bro. I won't leave you hanging. I got, I got it, I got it. Listen, dude, this ain't working. What, do you want me to cut the spin out? It's not the spin that needs to be cut, it's the spinner. What are you saying? You're gonna cut me out of the band I started? Well, like, it's just this year we have a good shot at playing the prom, but the kids have got to vote us in, and, well... Yeah, right now I'm the one holding you back. Maybe if we practice more. No, no, it's just not something you can practice out of. is this stuff?
Pretty sure it's just growing new stretch marks. Hello? Hey, stranger. Lisa! Oh, God, Lisa, it's, it's so good to hear your voice. I've missed yours, too. Can we meet sometime to talk? Absolutely. Anytime. Anywhere. Right now. Okay. Bell Tower? 15 minutes? I'm on my way. And Lisa? I love you. I'll say I'm sorry for uh. that third time. I mean it now. I swear I'll change my way. On, I'll keep you warm. Won't your father? He'll never know. Besides, I have a confession to make. Well, this is the right place. Tell me, child, what is your sin? Hmm. I have made a boy pregnant. Do you plan to do the right thing? Yes, I do. I want my baby back. What? I want my baby back. This isn't working, Kelly. It was a crazy idea to even begin with. Speaking of crazy ideas, Lisa, I'm eight and a half months pregnant. You don't just switch a baby back and forth. Well, you switched it with me. Yeah, that was different. It was just a little speck then, and now it's a monster. Don't you call my baby a monster. If anybody here is a monster, it's you, you crazy sci-fi experiment. You're breaking all the laws of nature, and I want my baby back. Yeah? Well, you can't have it. I know my rights. Possession's nine-tenths of the law, and I'm possessed, baby. You need professional help. You're violating my inalienable rights. Life, liberty, and the pursuit of childbearing. I'll take you to the Supreme Court. I'll sue for maternity, paternity, custody, and lustity. You've lost it big time. Every night, I lay in bed and my legs cramp like burnt pretzels. My back feels like a linebacker hit me, and my feet hurt so bad, I'd rather walk over hot coals. And what do I get in reward for all my pain and suffering? I get to throw up every night into the toilet. I've lost my car, my job, my, my body, my friends, my grades. How can anyone in their right mind give up all that again? Never, never, give me pregnancy or give me death. You've cracked. What? Lisa! 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 Lost is where I'll be on this midnight drive, drive Without knowing where I'm going What? It's Dad, breakfast is ready. I'm not hungry. Am I hearing correctly? Did you say you weren't hungry? Yeah, I'm just trying to lose a few pounds. I said you're working on? Just a song. For whom? The band that you no longer belong to? For anyone, I guess. I just, I seem to write some of my best stuff when I'm feeling down. Kelly, son, if you need to talk about something, you know the old man's a pretty good listener. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. But I just, I can't. 
All right. But when you're ready, I'll be here, son. Thanks, Dad. I love you. I love you, too. You change your mind. Put out in the kitchen. I can't wait until tomorrow. Why tomorrow? Because I get better looking every day. I mean, is this the ultimate or what? You're looking good. Good. I rock. What girl could resist this eye candy? Does this meet with your approval, sir? Ah, uh, nah, it's, it's not quite me. I need something more. Hmm. What about my friend here? What could you fix him up with? A circus? <laughs> I mean something to wear. Something stylish, but also down to earth. A tent, maybe. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. This isn't the only tuck shop in town. <laughs> Let's try in here. Are you crazy? That's for pregnant women. Oh, hey, we're halfway home. Come on. Dude. Dude. 50% off. Uh, what do you Take a little look, see here. Just a little X, you know. Uh, how do they, how do they feel? Get your minds out of the gutter and your filthy paws off the delegates. I'm sorry, sir. <laughs> Uh, we were just looking for mom. I'm mom. Of course you are. Uh, and how long until you're expecting? Expecting what? Expecting uh, the, um, the next shipment of bras and panties to come in. <sighs> Tell me you're not here for the panties. Actually, we're just looking for some formal wear suitable for a dance. Uh, preferably with some pants. Oh, couldn't imagine it without. See, I told you we came to the right place. Would this be for your mother, sister? Mother. Sister. I see. How far along is she? Uh, she's pretty far. How big is she? Pretty big. Look, I would have to have more precise measurements, okay? Then, um, take Fatso here. He's uh, pretty close to what my mom, his sister, looks like. I can't resist seeing where this goes. <laughs> I'm here, Fatso. Okay, here we go. Wow. Uh, um, let me see what I have in the back. My mother, your sister? I mean, seriously? Dude, let's just get out of here. Just chill, man. We're making definite progress. Yeah. You're in luck. My debutante dress. Yes. No. Yes, it's stunning. It's not really what I had in mind. Well, let us not be hasty in our decision. I think this outfit has a lot of interesting possibilities. I mean, to be fairly judged, I think you gotta try it on. What? Go for it. Certainly, to be sure of the fit and match and so on. The dressing rooms are to your right. <laughs> I'm getting my camera. Well, let's just see how it looks. No one will ever know. Ravishing. Simply ravishing. Why, if I didn't already have a date, I would- Stop it, Ditto. I mean, I gotta say, it is stunning, but I'm not gonna do it. What? I'm not wearing this to prom. Vandalous juvenile delinquents. If I ever find out who's responsible for this, oh Lord. Bring forth your righteous indignation and turn them into a pillar of salt. 
Daddy? Lisa, sweetheart, what are you doing here? Uh, nothing. I just sort of had this question that's been bothering me for a while. Well, of course, of course, you know, you can always, you can always come to me for the answers. Uh, so, speak up. What is it? Speak. Okay. Just speak. Okay, um. Speak up. Well, what if there's this person who's doing a huge favor for someone, even though it's causing him a lot of suffering to do it? Mm -hmm. Should the person receiving the favor come forward and confess, even though she may be horribly murdered? <laughs> <sighs> you know, I see right through this charade, little lady. You do? Oh, yes, I can. Just imagine the fine mess you've gotten yourself into. You can? Lisa, kids have the same problems today as they did when I was growing up. I, I know you think you're the only person in the world this has happened to, but I assure you, you're not. Lisa, the same thing happened to me when I was a teenager. It did. Mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, I still remember doing all of those extra homework papers for my friends so they too would get good grades. What? That's it, right? What? The homework. Lisa, I... you are so kind. You are so giving. Don't let people take advantage of you. My advice to you, tell your friends to do their own homework. Sure, Daddy, I will. Just know I, I always have the answers for you. Take care, sweetie. Let them do their homework. Oh. Kids today, one crisis after another. What the, get, 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 get. <sighs> Milton, this better be good. Oh. Interesting. Very interesting, Milton. You may stand at ease. Thank you, sir. I can tell there is something quite extraordinary about Kelly Hankins. I've compiled several pages of behavior which are extremely suspicious. Oh, I believe that uh, some snitch-worthy material will pop out on him very soon. Excellent work, Milton. See to it that you're there to uncover the story. I will have no scandal in my school go unexposed. What are you going to the prom for anyway? You're too fat to dance and you haven't even got a date. I'm going for the principal. You have a date with Principal Miller? No, stupid. I'm going because I won't let anyone or anything stop me from doing what I want. I mean, Kelly Hankins runs his own race. Kelly Hankins is too fat to walk, much less run. Where'd you get that screwball outfit from anyway? The costume store. It was the only tux that fit. Now come over and help me with my shoes. I want to make sure my outfit doesn't clash. I've never, no, I've never been so wrong All those things I should have said The noise fills my head How I miss, miss your sweet song Tell me
Hey, Principal Miller. Nurse Elba. Hey, all. Buenos noches, Senior Hankins. Meow. You're looking quite festive this evening. Ay, caramba. Would you like some punch, Nurse Elba? That sounds mouth-watering. Exquisite threads, my man. I'm totally envious of how well your tie and shoes match. You look pretty good too, Dale. Just a little spur of the moment thing that I threw together. Uh, did you recognize the glorious creature that walked by? No. What glorious creature? Uh, the one with the big pink orchid. Yeah? Guess I didn't notice. Well, every other jockstrap Neanderthal in here did. It's Lisa. You remember? Your ex? Previous passion? She's looking kind of sickly, don't you think? Sickly? Sure, Kel. She's falling apart without you. Hey, Debbie! 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 Why don't you take this poor, sad soul out on the dance floor and check for signs of life? There you go. Okay. Atta girl. Thank you. Debbie, nurse. The shadow you never makes a sound. No, no. You never see the shadow until he takes you down. Oh, yeah, you're done. You're going down. You guys sound great. Thanks, Kelly. Sorry you couldn't be a part of this. I was hoping for old times' sake that you guys would just, I don't know, play this song with me. Sure.
attention. Whoa. Settle down, people. Settle down. Well, I trust we are all enjoying the evening like responsible, mature adults. <laughs> At this time, it is my honor to uh, announce this year's valedictorian. Now, um, uh, we always take uh, into consideration the grades and contributions throughout all four years here at Butterhill High. And while this particular individual may have crashed and burned <laughs> late in the air, uh, the award still goes to Kelly Hankins. <laughs> uh, congratulations, Kelly, and we look forward to hearing your words of wisdom at the graduation ceremonies. <clears throat> and now, the backward dance. <laughs> so uh, ladies, uh, grab a partner other than your own. Woo, woo. Ray, raise the, the thing. You're my choice, lover boy. Bronco, don't look now, but there's a bee on your flower. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like he's trying to get some honey for his singer. <laughs> yeah. ah! Something poked me! Ditto? You perverted <laughs> slime! Ditto! He's... he's... Uh, he's what? He is pregnant! Yeah, right! Kelly Hankins is gonna have a baby! Yeah. <laughs> Come on. Extra, extra, read all about it. Baby boom at Butterhill High. How does it feel to be Milton's mama boy? It's probably after the Pulitzer Prize. I mean, can you believe this? Can you believe the slanderous things he's saying about me? They're all true, aren't they? That's besides the point. I mean, he doesn't have to make it sound so unusual. Yeah, he takes an ordinary story and tries to sensationalize it. Are you ever planning to visit the outside world again? Because if you're not, I sure could use your baseball mitt. Just because a guy likes to spend a couple days alone in his room doesn't mean that he's looking to join a monastery. And besides, I like spending time with uh, uh, my goldfish. Yeah, that goldfish is the only social life you'll be seeing for a while. Sorry to interrupt your date. Don't forget about the mitt. Yeah. You can't have my mitt, you vulture. Really wasn't interested in your mitt. But maybe your car. Sorry, Dad. Too late. I just had a long talk with your Uncle Theus, and he told me everything. Son, I've never had a reason to be anything other than proud of you, and I want you to know that that still stands. But, Dad, aren't you ashamed when you walk down the street and people point and whisper, there goes the father of that mama boy, eighth wonder of the world, freak of nature? Is that what you think? Son, that couldn't be further from the truth. The man upstairs, he asked you for a big favor, one with tremendous sacrifice, and you haven't let him down, and you've never let me down. Just, it's a lot more difficult than I thought it would be. I mean, I could never imagine doing this a second time. Mothers are amazing. Aren't they, though? Family's gonna be going to church this morning. Will you be joining us? Pretty sure if I showed my face at church, Reverend Weld would go ballistic. I mean, I must have broken every religious rule in the book. Ah, I've never been a fan of religious rules. Do this, do that, do this, do that. By the time you're done, you're nothing but a big doo-doo. <laughs> Look, we don't have all the answers, son, but I do know this. God, he has a plan and a purpose for you. And no matter what you go through in life, you need not be afraid because all things work together for good. God's got your back. So do I. Thanks, Dad. Life just seems a lot less scary inside my room. 
You know, Kelly, you could probably live in your room for the rest of your life and nothing bad would ever happen to you. But then again, son, nothing good would ever happen to you either. Buon appetito! Furry little pregnant primate. Uncle Theus has made your favorite... isn't such a good idea. You think? Reverend Weld's gonna give you so much heat. I'm gonna melt just sitting next to you. Maybe I should just wait outside, you know? My dear brothers and sisters, throughout the ages, God has taught us many lessons, but none more dramatic than the judgment that follows perverse immorality. In the times of the Pharaohs, God brought forth great plagues upon the Egyptian people. And in Sodom and Gomorrah, he devastated with fire and brimstone and in the time of Noah, he destroyed the whole world. God will damn the wicked. Now it is our duty as God-fearing Christian soldiers to terminate the indecency, to eradicate the vermin that shame us before our maker, to seek and destroy all that is unholy. Now me, I am a mild-mannered, peace-loving person. But I have to tell you, my blood boils when I start to see how some of our young people are keeping company with the Prince of Darkness. Yeah, they are dancing with the devil. They are playing rock music with the devil. They are sleeping with the devil. And now they have fornicated with the devil. One of our very own has sold his soul to Satan, and now he is carrying Satan's child. Now, wait a minute, Reverend. No, there is no minute to wait. We must exercise the demon from within. Good Christian soldiers, bring the lost soul forward. Hold on to him tight, boys. Remember how strong the demon is possessed. Daddy, wait. Oh, Lisa, I'm so glad you're here, honey. Please, just hold his head like that. You know, make sure it doesn't start spinning around. I call upon you. In the name of God, be gone, Satan. Please release him from eternal damnation. I need the help of the whole congregation. Please, Satan, go back to hell. Go back to hell. Go back to hell. Go back to hell! Go back to hell! Go back to hell! Oh God, please show us you've heard. Bring us a miracle. Give us a sign! Holy crap, son of a bitch. A sign. It's a sign. But did, did you get the message? Hmm? Did, did, did you get the message? It's, you don't have to be afraid. You, you don't have to be afraid of, of 
God. You don't, you don't have to be afraid of Satan. You don't have to be afraid of your neighbors or people far away from you. Look, I'm just a scientist. I'm not a religious person. But I know that God, right, is love. He loves you. He loves you and you. And I suppose God even loves you. But right now, God loves Kelly Hankins most of all. And if that's how God feels, who are we to disagree? How you doing? You okay? Come on, let's get out of here. This place gives me the heebie-jeebies, man. I haven't been in there in 20 years, and I'm going to give it another 20. Thanks for the rescue, Uncle Theus. I mean, you're a lifesaver. Or a taker. What? Better you should see. I'll show you. Come on, let's go. You're not going to make me be a guinea pig in one of your experiments again, are you? What's wrong? What's wrong? Everything. I've put you in grave danger. All to satisfy my curiosity. But I'm, I'm fine. For how long? We are in uncharted territory. We must end the experiment. What if I don't want to? The consequences could be unthinkable. Look, the decision is yours. I need some time alone. Pressed your gown and Kelly, you're still in bed. I'm just not feeling too good. But dear, it's graduation day and the whole family. I'm sorry, Mom. I just, I don't think I can make it. Jeff, Kelly's not feeling very well. Rough night, son. Nightmare. Your mother says you're sick. No, not really. I'm just scared. I guess I'm just a coward. I mean, I've been praying to make this all go away, but I just don't think God listens to me. God listens. He just doesn't always say yes. Kelly, even the best starting pitcher 
occasionally needs a reliever to come in and take over. Son, maybe you've been holding that ball too tight for too long. Why don't you put that in God's hands and let him decide the next pitch? Trust him. All right, Dad. I will. But we're going to need a miracle to win this one. <laughs> well, you just happen to be in luck, son. Because God, he's in the miracle business. And if you don't want to go to graduation, it's all right. The ones that love you, they'll understand. Now, is there anything I can get you? On your way out there, you might want to stop by a travel agency, pick up a ticket for Africa, one way. <laughs> Business or coach? First class. Sandra L. Haxon. <laughs> Kelly R. Hankin. Not present. <clears throat> I don't blame him for not showing up. Wendy K. Brown. It's all my fault. Just a moment of temporary insanity. Candace J. Cotton. <clears throat> Ditto Moore. Milton Vanderblack. <laughs> Bartholomew B. Winterbottom III. <laughs> Lisa G. Well. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our graduating class of Butter Hill High. At this time, um, we would normally hear from uh, our class valedictorian. However, due to unforeseen circumstances, uh, this year's speaker is not present. In his place, I would like to comment on these fine, responsible, mature young adults. <laughs> you need to see a doctor, young lady. <clears throat> As these leaders of tomorrow begin their journey through the maze of life, they will find their most memorable years were spent with me here at Butter Hill High. I molded them and painstakingly shaped them into what I believe will be this gen generation's uh, next uh, Kelly Hankins. Uh, I mean, it looks like uh, Kelly Hankins, our class valedictorian, is, is with us after all. Um, I, I don't know how. So... Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, your valedictorian, Mr. Kelly R. Hankins. <laughs> Thank you, Principal Miller, for those inspiring words. I would now like to give my valedictorian speech. Friends and relatives, teachers and fellow students, today we leave the safety of the lives we've known as Butterhill High School students and we venture into the world of uncertainty and possibilities. We will face challenges the likes of which we could have never dreamed. And the way in which we respond will be forever embedded into our character. Any great challenge will initially scare you to death. Fear of failure, ridicule, embarrassment, fear of losing friends, fear of losing loved ones, and fear of death. Do not be afraid to go out on a limb, because that is where the fruit is. You must learn and grow by doing what you are afraid of. I was recently enslaved by fear, 
It robbed me of my joy, stole precious moments of my life, and chipped away at my character. Fear led me down a path of destructiveness and nearly convinced me to destroy another's. Fear held its hand to the throat of possibly the next great theologian, or dedicated educator, or future Hall of Fame athlete. President Roosevelt once told us, we have nothing to fear but fear itself, and I, for one, will no longer bow to the influence of fear. And it is my hope that you will stand up and join me in facing your fears. And though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no... I will fear no, no, um, <clears throat> I will fear no, Kelly! it's time, it's time, Kelly, stage four, stage four, three, must be dead. I see an angel. No, Kelly. That's me, Lisa. Same thing. What happened? You collapsed. We nearly lost you. Where's my baby? Congratulations, Mom. It's a boy. Boy. It's perfect. No horn rim glasses or anything. Nothing could ever top this. I wouldn't be so sure. This one's a girl. A girl? Two? How am I ever going to handle two? How are we going to? We? You told my father about us. You did? I'm sorry everything turned out so bad. Bad? No, no. Everything turned out good. Now I know how much my father really loves me. You're my hero. And from now on, I'm not going to be scared of anyone or anything as long as I have you. Can you get up? There's something I want to show you.
hankering for you. Kelly Hankins. To these questions These sleepless nights go on and on I feel like I'm running away from the truth Ignoring everything I know And everyone, oh, everyone I love Understand what you do to me. Just one touch, feel your heart beating next to me. Cause I've been waiting for so long just to see you leave. So don't leave me. Trust me, baby, I'll be your everything. Just one kiss, one smile, girl, you make me sing. Cause I've been waiting for so long just to see. 